20th of January out here and I've been negligent on videos as usual. Been out here and haven't shown much. I've just been kind of cleaning. And I still got this pile. Um, need a knife anyone? My dad was a surgeon so he's got uh, a bucket of those and they are sharp. But uh, yeah there's a little picture cube in and amongst. Um, reminded me of more innocent times. Well, I wanted a break from cleanup time, so this uh, rabbit here, 77, that I got, I don't know, some years back, and I put a later model 1600 five speed diesel into it, took out the 1500 four speed, and I was going to do a scuff and shoot, had little pock marks all over it, little rust pox, and it's one of those projects that got away from me. It's primed down the other side and the roof and stuff. I still got to prime over here on this side and finish up whatever little bit of body work. There was only one tiny rust hole which was in the window track up here and I welded a piece in, fixed it all up. But I need to finish it up at some point. It's kind of shoehorned in here. I'll probably paint it in the spring slash summer. But um, Figured today for kicks I need a little video to put up. I'm going to go ahead and um, attempt to do a cold start. It hasn't been run since I originally put this engine in and like I said it's probably that was probably in oh man I don't know several years back. I'll uh, insert the date here at some point looking back at the old videos but suffice it to say it's been sitting here several years without running and I figured I'd go ahead and see if I can fire it up. I'll round up a battery. Alright, well I found this guy. It's a little bigger than belongs in here. And I put it on the charger briefly. Hopefully it's got enough go juice. Um, don't know. And I'm not going to put fuel in this or anything. It's got whatever fuel was in it way back when. So um, hopefully I can make this fly. Just tuck the cables on here. I didn't clean the terminals, I may end up having to do that. So, we've got a beep of some kind. Got no idea what that's about. But um, before I can even attempt to fire it anyway, i got to get a prime to the pump. Because it's been sitting for years. And it's possible that the injector pump is out of fuel. So we'll do that next. This is a 77 Rabbit. It's an old German one, round headlight. And... Um, it had this uh, filter set up here that has a hand prime on it so you can pump this guy here and suck the fuel up from your tank and fill the fill the uh, filter up and uh, kind of prime the pump so I'm gonna go ahead and do that until I see fluid in this used to be clear tube here get some diesel down to the pump and then we'll uh, go ahead and give it a crank so we'll just have to see how this all works out. All right, get my glasses on. I can see what's happening here. Maybe. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, pump this guy. When I originally got this car, it had been sitting for years, and I fired this engine up originally on the diesel that was in the tank. It had like, oh man, it must have had... Uh, two-thirds or so of a tank and it took two days running this thing the whole time I was out here at the shop just letting it idle out there before I finally got rid of that and then I put some fresh in so we'll see uh, what I got I don't remember how much I put in it's a long way back to the tank and the tanks down at the bottom in the back so Take some effort. I don't know if cracking this little guy would facilitate this or not. I think I'm going to crack this little uh, little guy here. Um, it's in line with the line here, and wait till fuel comes out. 
That way at least I know I've got it drawn to the front here. Looks like it might be a 10 or an 11. I'll try a 10. 10 it is. So I'm going to crack that and my knuckle and uh, see if I can... There we go. I actually see a little bit of bubbling in here now. Yeah, I've got fuel out this little guy and I see a few bubbles in the line. So, see if these are all tight with all the fuel lines and fuel rails and everything, then they don't bleed back to the tank. But if you've got any kind of a tiny air leak up here, over time everything returns to the tank and you've got an empty pump. And uh, the pump itself won't prime itself. Alright, so before I continue, i got to get a little, uh, little knuckle bandage here. Alrighty. Someday I'll learn about gloves. But in the meantime, i got a hefty supply of these uh, paper towels. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a few more pumps. And I do see bubbles headed down now. So at least my, uh, yeah, I got fuel down to here, and it's continuing. So I got my filter full anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and run it right on down to the pump. And that way it should be able to uh, pick it up and supply the engine with it when it's time. Alright, I think I got fuel all the way down to the pump at this point. There's a few bubbles, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a crank. Let's see what we can do with it. I'm going to hook this battery up. I may have to get some clamps or tighten these down. I don't know if they'll do um, without tightening them down, but I'll twist them on and let's see what happens. How are we looking here? Okay. Okay, first try in uh, multiple years. It's probably 40 degrees out here, so it's not super cold. And here we go. Make sure I'm in neutral. Okay, the start relay is not working. Alrighty then. Okay, we'll call that a fail simply because um, the starter would engage. So I got to get a better jumper here, or a push button, and then I'll come back. All right, what I got is a little piece of. Uh, number 12 bent and I think I'll be able to touch this end to the spade connector for the starter and then this end to the hot lead that's down there off the battery so we're gonna go ahead and turn the key on that'll glow, it glows in a matter of just a couple seconds, three seconds or something and uh, hopefully the uh, solenoid is working I didn't hear it oh, click because of this buzzing. Yeah, I heard the solenoid there on the uh, on the pump. So hopefully I can do this here. Probably scare the heck out of myself, but here we go. No, no we don't. A little more of a tweak. All right. The pump retard pulled all the way, so I'll give it a little go juice to it. Sound light is running on making three. When you get it to smooth out and the injectors to bleed, you'll be in good shape.
cold start. Uh, we'll look at the chutes here. Not too awful bad. Um, I think it's still running on like three cylinders. So one of those injectors needs to bleed out. And if I let it run a while, it probably will bleed itself. I shouldn't have to crack it to bleed it. Um, I'm going to get it to run and warm up a bit, push the retard in here. Yeah, it's running on three cylinders. It means that the thermostat is opened and the water's gone through the block and everything. It takes a while for them to warm up. Thermostat is opened up now, water cycling, and uh, sounds really good. So I'll call it a successful cold start, and this will be a good engine for this little car once I get the motivation to finish it up. It uh, got away from me, and I got further into it than I wanted to. I'm into the door jams now and everything, so a lot more work, and uh, I just I just lost motivation on it, but I really need to get it painted and out of here, and that'll probably happen in the spring here. It's way too cold to be painting on this big old barn, so this spring I'll get back on this project. Well, that'll do it for the 20th out here. Thanks for watching.